This is a quick video of me and how I wash my yarn braids. I start this process with a spray bottle with water. And I take some shampoo by Thalia Wajid and I pour the shampoo inside of the spray bottle. It already has a little bit of shampoo in there so I'm not going to put that much more in there because I don't want too much of it. But um, you can see it. It's purple, purpley black. Put the top back on it. And after that, I shake the bottle until the shampoo is dissolved. That's me get my groove on. I don't look right shaking that bottle like that, but hey, whatever. So the shampoo has dissolved in the water. And now I will begin to spray in between my parts because I've discovered that when I just put the shampoo on my palm and kind of rub my hands together that my scalp is not coming completely clean so I needed to come up with another way to wash my hair because I don't want dandruff and my hair to be itchy and my hair to be dirty so just spray in between the parts here and I kind of massage the shampoo water mixture together this is going to be quick because my battery was dying, so you're not going to see much of the spray, but I think you guys get the idea of what's going on. Right here, I already conditioned my hair in the shower, and there was no way for me to show you guys when I was washing my hair, so I'm going to simulate that. But I part my hair in sections, and I just go from root to tip, making sure that I get the ends because my hair is intertwined with the yarn and I don't want my ends to be dry especially since I have color in my hair but I do it in sections I don't do it one big time I do it in sections and after I do it in sections I normally take you know some more and put it on the root of my hair to make sure they get some moisture by the way I took one out do you see it? do you see the growth? yeah look at me now growing almost by my eye don't let the shrinkage fool you people I have no intention of putting that braid back in there but yeah I washed the conditioner out that's not my leave-in it's just regular conditioner and then I do the leave-in mixture by Kimi Mae too the only difference is I don't use the knot today I use Talia YG mist spray daily mist spray but everything else is the same, like the aloe vera juice and the oils. I put the leave-in conditioner in the same way that I do the regular conditioner. Get it in sections, and I put the leave-in in from root to tip. Root to tip. At this point, I'm kind of hoping, well, actually wishing that I had those duck clips. I really have enjoyed these yarn braids, but the only problem that I had was the fact that I colored my hair previously before doing the yarn braids. And, um, you know, you need to make sure your hair is moisturized when you have color. And I just don't think that my ends were getting the moisture that they need. I think the new growth was the part that's not colored, but the ends, they just were not what I thought they were going to be. That's why I took that one out. And when I took it out, I know, noticed that it was a little dry and brittle, and that scared me. And I don't want my hair to break off because I want to have these cute and convenient yarn braids. So they will not be in my hair much longer. In fact, they aren't. But I did this video and um, I'm going to put it up here because yeah I took the time to do it I'm going to put it up here and you just work it through now after I put my leave-in in I do my little concoction of oils but we'll get to that in a minute oh well I guess I'll tell you the oils that I use are coconut no, it's not. It's not coconut. It's castor oil, jojoba oil, and castor oil. Yeah. 
I'm making sure I get my roots, making sure I get my roots, massaging it with the tips of my fingers, just going all over my head, you know, giving my hair that love, and my scalp too. Yeah. And that is my new growth, you guys. You see it? Probably can't see it because my roots are dark and my ears aren't. But if you can, that's my new growth. And uh, I think it looks quite nicely. I'm excited about it. I really had no plans of really taking them down there or early. But I was at home. I was bored, even though I needed to get back on the road. And I just cut them down. I took them out. I have to show you guys a picture of my fro. It is so awesome. So awesome. But anyway, that's my oil mixture. And it's in a spray bottle as well. And I spray about a quarter size. And I put this in the same way too, now that I think about it. Well, kind of. Kind of massage the top. And then I kind of go back over it. You know, making sure I put the oil on the ends of my hair. Me spraying some more spray. Trying to make sure I have enough. I don't know if, if anybody's ever had the yarn braids or if you have them and you haven't washed your hair. Just be prepared to have your head feel really heavy because that yarn soaks it up, soaks up the water, and it's heavy. So it's going to throw you off a little bit, but they dry. I recommend just letting them hang down and letting them air dry. I hope no one gets under the dryer with them because I will be afraid that they might actually burn because it is fabric, not actual hair. So just let your yarn braids air dry. If you put them in a bun or something, it's going to take longer for them to dry. So just let them hang. Still working the oil in, working it in. Wishing I had a scrunchie or something. But I don't. Massaging my back. You know. Whatever you do to the front and the middle of your hair, please remember to do that to the back. If you put shea butter or whatever you put on the top and the middle, remember to do it in the back. Because I think we neglect it sometimes because we can't see it. And this is the end of the video because I'm trying to figure out how to hide my twist. The little piece out there. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a good night. This is a quick video of me and how I wash my yarn braids. I start this 